already demonstrated with their video clips for Ortecra, Square Pusher or Aphex Twin that pioneering sounds demand the right visuals. However, Warp Films isn't simply content with releasing films by established directors such as Chris Cunningham. The company wants to promote new directorial talent, as well as produce and distribute ambitious indie movies. Warp Films producer Mary Burke let us in on her secrets. Warp Films started about 2001. Um, Rob Mitchell, who co-founded Warp Records with Steve Beckett, um, had the idea after the Chris Cunningham Aphex Twin videos sold so many on VHS that perhaps we could move into film and repeat the same ethos as Warp Records in, in film. So he identified some directors that he wanted to work with, such as Shane Meadows and obviously Chris Cunningham, et cetera, et cetera, and um, decided to raise some funding. So we went to Nesta, which is the, a funding body called the National Endowment for Science and Television Arts, and they gave us £150,000 to start the business. There's no real focus on any particular genre. You know, we, we try to look for things that we think are, quote, warp, so cutting edge, innovative, interesting, independent. Um, we don't want to have, I don't know, carbon copy or you know Hollywood blockbuster type of films. But we don't, also don't want to make things that are intrinsically British. We want to reach a global market and have everyone see our films. See the girl on the shore. It's my Chris Cunningham has a very um, long-standing relationship with Warp. He first directed videos for Autecra and Square Pusher, and then has, is now in his fifth collaboration with Aphex Twin, being Rubber Johnny. Um, Aphex Twin did the music for Rubber Johnny, which Chris re-edited to fit the visuals um, in the video. Well, when Chris first handed in the artwork, it was, it was quite shocking. Uh, to see. So we decided to, um, to be on the safe side to hand it into the British Board of Film Certification uh, Video Packaging Committee. They look at the pick packaging and decide whether or not it's you know safe to go out to the public. It's a voluntary scheme, so you know you don't need to have your packaging certified, but it's a good backup if you if you do do it, so it means you don't get sued or whatever. So we sent it to them and they immediately rejected it, saying it was too ambiguous um, about which body parts were being used. I didn't think it was that ambiguous, but I guess maybe they did. Um, they were being really vague about, about what they wanted changed, so we couldn't really change it because we didn't know what was wrong with what you know, they, they thought was wrong with it. So we decided to go ahead with it anyway. I don't necessarily think we have a message. I don't think we're trying to say anything. But I do think that it's important to kind of raise the profile of British filmmaking worldwide and get a larger voice out there. Well, the next project that we have coming out is Shane Meadows' Oh, This Is England. It's a skinhead film based in 1983 in the north of England. Um, that should be starting production the end of August. We have um, another script by Frank Cotterell Boyce, who he wrote 24 Hour Party People. He's a, he's a writer. That will be shot in September, I think, and that's set in Liverpool. And we have projects in development with Chris Cunningham, three feature films with him. Lynn Ramsey, who did Morvan Caller uh, with Samantha Morton, and we, you know, various other other directors and writers because we're an artist-led company, so same as Warp Records. Warp Films has a new um, branch of our company that we just set up off the success of My Wrongs, which we distributed on DVD.
we sold um, about 25,000 copies of that short film, which is completely unprecedented, at least as far as I know, distributing a short film and selling that many copies. Um, and then we knew we were going to have Rubber Johnny coming out, and then subsequently Spectrum Musicians, which is another one of Chris Cunningham's short films that will be out next year. They're all, all three of them are short films. And we decided, why don't we use the same format of, of distributing... CDs and distributing DVDs through the music channels that we already have set up at Warp Records. And we are acquiring titles that don't have distribution worldwide and um, giving them a, a home, really.